Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SNDL. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, another very eventful day on this one, and basically all the lines that I talked about previously still do pertain, including this level right here. So that's the first an whoops, annotation that I want to get extended up. There we go. Let me try to angle that over here a little bit. There we go. So overall today, yeah, it was a bit of an annoying day. It did gap up. So, I mean, it was a bullish day, don't get me wrong, but a bit of an annoying day because the price can never quite get through any sort of continuation of these breakout levels. Yeah, the price did get up above that initial red line there, went all the way up there, but eventually then just rolled back over. And then actually, let me extend this out because it'll make more sense. So like I said, the price got above it, fell back below it, and then in returning back upwards, you can see that area went right back to acting as resistance and then back down the prices went. Now, I don't say any of this in like, oh, the chart is ruined type of sense, but just in more of kind of a hassle sense, more of a bull or a bear sense of annoyance, not a bear sense of, uh-oh, the game is over. You know, the entire chart's, you know, gonna be destroyed. Nothing like that, because again, I mean, the price is still nicely up above that trend line right there. It's still nicely up above that purple line, the 50 period moving average. So the price didn't do anything wrong today from the bullish sense. The only thing it did wrong was just more of an annoyance factor and not being able to actually, uh, you know, break above and then stay up above that dollar twenty-five area, which was that first red line, and then the second red line up here just at a dollar thirty-five. So yeah, dollar thirty-five still does pertain, uh, but before you put too much focus on that area, it all goes back to not necessarily can the price break above dollar twenty-five because today proved the price can break above it. The main question becomes can the price actually stay up above it? So we want to keep a close eye on that. But overall. Eventful day, crazy day, a little bit of annoyance, but overall the trend is still perfectly fine. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.